What's goody ka? <laughs> What's up, everybody? How are you all today? What's up, Zach Brown? How are you, bro? Triforce J says y'all are trash. Of course we are, bro. What's how are you, bro? Uh, Monica, Prez is in here. What's up, Prez? D Rail, what's up? Isaiah P, I saw you in here, bro. What's up? Uh, it is uh, the official Smash Bros. Ultimate theme, uh, Zach. <laughs> D-Rail says, hello, what's up, D-Rail? Hoi! Michigan is trash, get, get out of here, Jay, you pussy ass bitch! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a Smash Ultimate remix. It's all, it's amazing, bro. I love it. All right, let me switch over to the live scene. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, let me fix the camera here. How is everybody? Dira, you can have. Hey, what's up, Small Bean? How are you, bro? Hey, Shinobu, you sucks. Oops, I mean, I love you. <laughs> what's up, Shinobu? I'm with my cousin, and she no like cu uh, cussing. Okay. Um, Small Bean says, "Ee." Uh, Daniel says, Dira, you can have night ball all night tonight. My treat. <laughs> Who's that sexy? <laughs> Bruh. All right, let me lower the music, even though it is awesome. All right. From where we last left off, guys, we were kind of going around uh, finding secrets in, in the in the school, trying to find uh, everybody's ultimate lab, kind of like their own, uh, each person's like uh, private room. Well, not private, but like their own special room. Um, and I think we found all of them, or at least the ones that uh, they gave us. Um, nothing too crazy happened. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Zoo, I, of course I remember you. You're like at every stream I have, bro. <laughs> of course I remember you, bro. It's a Black Ops 4 stream. <laughs> oh, you saw the Black Ops thing? No, but you play... Gotcha. Okay, one question. Did anyone die? No. Not yet. Uh, Daniel. No one died yet. Won't be chatting much tonight. Okay, d -Rail. Hope everything's alright, bro. Hey, thank you so much, Julio, for liking in between the stream. I see Daniel did that too. Uh, Prez, you did that. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it, bro. Nice. Appreciate the, res the support, bro. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, "Okay, good." But yeah, dude, I hope everything's all right, bro. Hold up, I thought it was a Pokemon Let's Go stream. <laughs> no, it's not a Let's Go stream. Alright, let's go. Bad Bears. Yes, the Bad Bears. Oh yeah, and I was hanging out with some... Uh... Like the stream, by the way. I'm not saying you have to like the stream. I'm just saying that it's there. But the title says it. Well, it's a. Uh, the title says the giveaway for Pokemon Let's Go. A giveaway for a U.S. Uh, for a U.S. digital code. Oh, a giveaway. <laughs> yes. Yes. What was I doing in here? 
they're bad bears and it's play to, plain to see. Hey, shout out to the 16 people watching, I appreciate it. Kaito's motive. Everything's fine, but I deeply appreciate your concern. Thank you, George. Hey, no problem, bro. Just, uh, you know. So you're not giving the away, give, giving the game away at 300. Yeah, I should probably explain that. And the reason why is because, like, it's, it's gonna be a while before I get to 350s. And by that time, p people will not be... Hey, what's up, uh, Sora? How are you, bro? What's goody, cat? Did you have a request for me? Do I want to hang out with crew? Oh yeah, I forgot this is free time, so I should probably hang out with somebody. Oh, you know what? I should. I. I have somebody who I didn't hang out with last time. Glad you're okay, Drell. Facts, bro. Not saying. You hey, uh, how is it going? Uh, what, mate? Uh, Nate? How are you, bro? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Um, thanks for checking out my stream. I appreciate it, bro. Monica has something. To, you have something to say? What do you have to say? This game is so long. Uh, I heard it was a long game. <laughs> I heard it can go for a, a little while. Yeah. Going great. It came a long time ago. Oh, you did? Thank you, Canadian. I'm good, bro. -bo. Hey, what's up, Ataki? Says hello, everyone. What's up, bro? Let's hang out with Kimiko. Don't be shy, Moni. Two months ago. <laughs> oh, wow. Two months ago. Jesus. I ship Lancer and Susie from Undertale 2. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Videos of the most important people of our, in our lives, huh? <laughs> Azul says, OMG, no. You're welcome, D-Rail, says uh, Daniel. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Is that Himiko? <laughs> it's more challenging than Mario is missing? <laughs> oh my god. Mario is missing. I actually played that game when I was a kid. Alright, let me see what presents is good, are good for uh, Himiko. Sure. Where is he? Wait, my limb. <laughs> Ganta? Where is he? I have no idea. Nah. I want Underlust. Sorry, bro. Don't worry, Ganta's alive. He's my fave, too. Do whatever you want. Spend some time. Himiko equals my little witch academia? <laughs> I know of that show, but I don't think I've ever seen an episode of it. I spent some time with Himiko, though she was being particularly lazy. I love this anime. You've seen it before, Azul? Himiko and I, and I grew a little closer today. Uh, sure, but I don't remember the presents I had. Small bean says hello. Uh, oolong tea. Is that good for her? Let me see. Uh, it's okay. Ginger tea is good. Okay, I'll give her ginger tea. Sure. It's a good show. I I, I should check it out then. <laughs> you must have used you you must have used a fine Himiko a good gift spell. Hmm. Well done. I don't mind give, I don't mind you giving me more stuff from now on. <laughs> nah. Hey. 
Himiko? Um, <laughs> Himiko. What? what? She looks she looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go away. George's streams is best anime. <laughs> <laughs> is the best anime. Oh, it's like crooked. What's wrong with my camera today? It's like... <laughs> what a pickup line. Uh, um... If you don't want to talk to me, you could have turned me down. What a pain. I'm too lazy to say no. Ah, I see. I've never met someone so thoroughly lazy. But that is strange. Underneath this game equals anime? <laughs> um. Hey, Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. Wait, I'm in an anime? <laughs> I'm not a magician. I'm a mage and I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. Lazy is my middle name. It's real magic, okay? You get it right. Oh yeah, Joe, sorry I missed out on the VC4 stream. Oh, it's, it's all good, uh, Daniel. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> yep, Zach, we all are, we're all in an anime right now. Then show me some real magic. Then show me some real magic right now. Uh, Small Bean says, wait, isn't Himiko's voice actor the same one in Madoka Magica or whatever? Facts, it's Magica! <laughs> it's magic! I don't think I've seen that show either, Madoka Magica. I wouldn't know, man. Maybe somebody else knows? <laughs> Maybe Zack knows, because he sees all the anime, right? No, she's the voice actress of Chiaki uh, Nanami. Oh yeah, from the second game. Eh, well that's... Wait, yes she is. Oh really? Wow. Th there's no mana here, so I can't. If you sacrifice yourself, I can't. <laughs> I gotta sacrifice myself. No. I'd rather not be sacrificed, so I'll decline. Oh, that's too bad. I guess you'll just, you're just not passionate enough about magic. Uh, Himiko says, Nyeh, like Papyrus? I'll tell you the exact time and episode. <laughs> Facts, bro. Zach knows all the anime. Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. Uh, Nate says, so is she a fake magician? Because a real magician uses uh, magic tricks. Well, she, she says that she's a mage. That she uses real magic. But in reality, like, I don't know. Uh, Daniel says Zach got the anime like a drug dealer got drugs. <laughs> Magic. Hey, what's up, Ta uh, Taylor? Thanks for coming back, bro. She's a mage, cuz calm down. <laughs> Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. Anyway, what were we talking about? Why I'm a mage? Why were you asking about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic trick? Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, so... A, t a typical amateur question. You don't need annoying preparations for magic. I see. I'm, a I'm talented. Not relying on ta on my talent would go against my master's teachings. Hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Yeah. Nah? Did I not tell you? Okay. This is the first time I'm hearing it. So there are apprentice magicians? Hmm. Mm, that's right. My master was an amaz amazing archmage. Wait. Hey, wait. You called me a magician again. I'm a mage. Oh, 
all you have to say is Alakadabra? <laughs> Ooh, yes. Who am I? Can someone find my love? No, I'm a girl. Oh, okay. I had to spend some time calming Himiko down, who had become quite pouty. I wonder what kind of person Himiko's master is. An open sesame? There's still some time left. Can't sit around doing and do nothing. Alright, let's go hang out with someone else. Alright, let's find out where they are. How close are you to chapter 3? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is the second- Hey, Mew! What's up, Mew? Go to Kibo? Gah! I can't- Focus! And if I f can't focus, I can't stay on top of my inventions. You get it? My focus can shape the course of history. Taylor, you want me to go to Kibo? Alright, I'll go to Kibo. Because I love Underlust. Sans is so... <laughs> Jesus, is <visible. laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to find it. Uh, Kibo. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Yo, shout out 17 people watching. Appreciate it. Oh, he's at the casino? Really? Alright, let's run. Hey, what's up, uh... Uh, normal person? I don't think... On top of my inventions. That's flipping an innuendo. Hey! Thank you so much, a uh, normal person! For subscribing, thank you so much, bro. I really appreciate it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the stream, man. Thank you. Where is Kibo, bro? Right, let's go under maybe he's underground smash that like button peoples hey thanks for saying that d -Row. there's kibo Dangun vegas <laughs> guess he got nothing better to do i also want to know what is contained in my motor video casino equals cuphead a hey, welcome no kibo doesn't like ice cream machines all right good to know make sure you hit that like button I know Prez doesn't like me saying it, but, you know, I'm not saying you have to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'm just saying that they're there down below. Uh, d -Rail says, welcome to the party, normal person. Yeah, facts, bro. Hello, my cuz right now is like, let's p play. And I was like, my favorite streamer is streaming, so no. Hey, I mean, if, if you want to play with your cousin, go ahead. Go always watch the replay. What if a killing were to happen? But I appreciate you saying that, Monica. What if a killing were to happen because of that? Kibo, is is it considered gay if a scientist fixes a robot? I don't think so, normal person. <laughs> you know, play. <laughs> Press says, shut the fuck up, cuz hit that like button. <laughs> and I'm lazy. It would mean that we've, be that we've betrayed the very wish that Kaede entrusted to us. Yo, they got the Konami Pachinko machines in this game? <laughs> Facts, Zach. Sure, Kibo, let's hang out. Um. You understand what I mean, don't you, Shuichi? Hey, the ball from Roulette hit uh, Rentaro's head. Yeah, that has happened, so... <laughs> I spent some time with Kibo, but it was bittersweet. That's the story. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Sure. <laughs> Alright, what is Kibo like?
hand grips, huh? Sure, I'll give him that. Give him a scarf? Oh, too late, bro. My apologies. Uh, d -Rail says, fuck that, cuz smash the hell out of like button, bitches. <laughs> d <-Rail. laughs> Thank you, I'm 11. The last part before you give him anything, it just seems gay to me. <laughs> give him a scarf, Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Give him some oil and he will be happy just like the USA. Give him electronic gadgets. You are a fanboy, George? A fanboy what? Just in general, I'm a fanboy? That's kind of true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot see myself ever developing an interest in this. Really? Should I feign happiness in this situation? That seems illogical to me. Oh, I wasn't good? Oh, what? It's. Bro, it said right here that. Oh my god. <laughs> no spoilers, people. Yeah, facts. No spoilers, guys. It is now nighttime. Rip. I gotta go. Next time. Next free time, I'm gonna have to go to him. The late night special at uh, the exclusive Mono Cup kitchen inside the dining hall is. I love his expression. I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. Only? I want to make George laugh, but I can't. It's all good. I always laugh, okay? Huh? No spoilers, yeah. No spoilers, guys. Oh my god. By the way, this here is for Monica's only. Only shit that looks so good. <laughs> Facts. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? Spoiler, this is a game. <laughs> so long, Finally. That wasn't too bad today. I wouldn't eat that greasy food even if they threatened to kill me. But Anyway, nighttime already, huh? I love this. I hate mayo. Mayo, uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of mayo. When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Kaide? I ask myself questions like that. Because no matter how I think about it, you never had it homemade, baby. Homemade mayo? That's true, I never had it homemade. What happened to her is my fault. Oh shit. Let me guess, Kaito. Huh, is someone here? Doorbell's ringing. It's fucking raw. Darkness time, huh? <laughs> it's a hundred thousand times better. How did I know it was Kaito? Pussy ass guy, uh, Kaito. Hey, come out uh, and hang with. Uh, come out. Uh, come hang it out with me with a sec. Huh? huh? Now, but it's nighttime. Come on, man. There's no rule about walking around at nighttime, right? Huh. I'll be waiting at the courtyard. Wait. What? Wait. But Kaito wasn't listening. <laughs> Tiro, it's bland. Gordon Ramsay, twenty fucking forever. <laughs> He says that all the fucking time. The courtyard at, at this time of night? What does he want? BRB? Okay. Could it be about the motive video I have? But how does he know? Wait, should I even go at all? Something might happen. <laughs> Where's the lamb sauce? Pretty dope uh, track, honestly. I like it. His hair is so edgy, you just get cut by, <laughs> by looking at it. <laughs> Facts, bro. Uh, I'm good on talking to Korkyo. That dude seems pretty weird to me, bro. Hey, Himiko. Wait, that's most anime? 
Yeah, oh, it's you, Shuichi. What are you doing up at this hour? Yes, some good fucking food. Just, well, just thinking. But it's pretty late now. Hmm, I think I'll sleep well tonight. I knew it. If I knew it'd be like this, I would have had her undo my brainwashing a long time ago. Huh? Your brainwashing? Hmm. Well, good night. What? Brainwashing? See, I don't like to eat fancy food. Is that Himika? <laughs> what was that about? She looked happier than usual. I wonder what happened. Yeah, that is strange. I wonder if you learn more about it by becoming more her friend. Oh, here you are. Yo. So how was Black Friday for you guys? Oh, it was pretty good. More like Black Week, honestly, because the deals were... <laughs> uh went on for a while i picked up like four games and i got a new tv a new 4k uh tv it's really nice oh good you came uh, um, what's wrong kaito why did you call me out here all of a sudden i mean see since i was chosen as an astronaut trainee i've trained every day but i haven't done any training here at all at this rate i'll, I'll get all week so join me shuichi huh? what why me? All right. Doesn't matter. Let's get started. Take off your coat and your pants and your underwear. No, I'm scared. <laughs> like this tune's aggressive and shit. Imagine if all the expressions were people in real life. A uh, Zill says, "Boom." Wait. 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 Why? Instead of complaining, just do 50 push-ups. Azul <laughs> says, what the fuck? I don't know how it happened before I knew it. I was doing push-ups with Kaito in the courtyard in the middle of the night. Black Friday, uh, Taylor says, Black Friday sucks. I could not uh, do Christmas shopping at the mall because of it. Well, yeah, because everybody rushes the stores, it's crowded. People, people instantly become dicks around Black Friday, especially in parking lots. Like everybody, like you, like you try to like go into a spot, but then somebody like out of from out of nowhere just steals it from you. And they don't even have the common courtesy to, to like to like look away from your eyes. Like they, as they're getting out of their car, they're looking right at you. Like yeah, I just took your spot. What are you gonna do about it, huh? <laughs> I got myself a EB Game GameStop membership. Oh, that's cool. What? Black Friday turns people crazy. It's those deals, man. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> What's up, Fire Blast? How are you, bro? Thanks for coming out, bro. Appreciate it. When you plug your phone in in and wait five hours just to get one percent. <laughs> People become subhuman on Black Friday. I think people's base instincts are more like apparent, you know? Like, give me what I want. I, I'm, I'm, the, you become totally selfish, and I think that's the basis of human nature. Like, it's just selfishness. And I think Black Friday brings that out in people. But that's just me. Now's not the time to use your head, now's the time to move your body. I got in a car crash during Black Friday a couple years ago with my friend. We all came out fine. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, not that you got in a car crash, that you're fine. <laughs> what's up, George, d -Rail, Zach, my boys? Hey, what's goody cap? But yeah, man, it gets crazy out there. Hello, Daniel. What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. My arms... Hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. What the? That logic makes no sense. <laughs> Somehow I managed 50 push-ups, but my body was spent. I collapsed on the grass, panting. People fight over toilet paper and shit. <laughs> 
Jeez, that's pathetic, man. Getting tired from only 50 push-ups. Well, that's enough for now. We'll pick back up tomorrow. Fucking dumbass in some fucking Toyota Corolla. Yeah, man. Black Friday makes me sad about humanity. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Huh? Me looks up from chat, what did I miss? <laughs> We're doing this again tomorrow? Huh? Oh, well, yeah. You gotta do daily training every day, right? But why do I gotta do this, Kaita? I mean... Because this training's for you. Black... Hey, what's up, William? How are you, bro? Uh... Daniel says Black Friday is like the purge except no one dies. <laughs> because this training's for you. For me. When I look at you, I can't help but be get frustrated. I ask myself. Is the one Kaede entrusted her wish to uh to really this week? I mean You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Kaede died because you made a wrong deduction? Do you think you killed her? Uh, okay. Yes, I do, Kaito. Because my detective works, she set up. Uh, because of my detective work, she set up that. Dumbass. What are you saying? That was all her fault. Listen up. Her sins and her regrets are hers alone. You only make her worry about you. Uh, if you try to bear all those by yourself. Fireblast says, on Black Friday, everyone goes Ultra Instinct. <laughs> I know. I know that. I already know that. You don't have to tell me. Damn, Shuichi's crying, bro? But, I can't help it, Kaito. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I, what I could have done. Uh, Small Bean says, uh, my parents forced me to socialize. Really? I mean, I'm kind of an anti-social person myself, so. I was put in a lot of situations where I had to, like, come out of my shell, you know? It's no use. I'm scared. I try, I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop, I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Alright, All right, I got it! So that's your enemy, huh? huh? Enemy. OMG drama! That sucks, Smoby. Well, you gotta deal with your worries yourself. I can't give you an answer for those, but... but you know. At least you know you're weak. As long as you can admit that... Let's do it. Then you'll be okay. You just gotta train and get stronger. Huh? Huh? Listen up. Training is the only way to overcome your weakness. But... Nate says, I'd just rather be an antisocial so I can see my results <laughs> and not others. But in my case, getting stronger is more of a mental concept. Don't worry about it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? He's not making any sense. <laughs> What's a what? <laughs> Is that Isaiah. Uh, Daniel says, in Canada, Black Friday is a lot calmer than America's. It's just in parking lots where it's horrendous. Really. <laughs> I imagine, like, in Canada, like, <laughs> for Black Friday, everybody who, like, walks in an orderly fashion, and if you, ch like, accidentally bump somebody, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, eh? Uh, DRL says, Kaito equals brawn and no brains. Facts, bro. Woomies United today. Oh, that's a Splatoon reference then. Yeah, that's a Splatoon reference. But maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Yeah, from Splatoon, yeah. Alright, Kaito, I'll try. No. I mean, will you let me? I wanna train with you, Kaito. To get closer to defeating my enemy. Well set. <laughs> 
Hey, what's up, Lucario? He says, your boy is here. <laughs> what's up, man? Well said, bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Uh, <laughs> Daniel says, instead of everyone hurting each other, uh, people just give each other bad looks. Never heard that from Splatoon. Zero. What's up, Lucario? Then <laughs> tags press. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Oh, you started eating bread, Lucario? Nice. What's up, y'all? Bro, huh? That's the first time he's called me that. But perhaps you should be training too, Kaito. You talk big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? Jeez, you even noticed that. You still want to fight? <laughs> Canada in general is just more calmer, LOL, says Ataki. What's up, you pussy ass bitch? 20 subs from me getting my Pokemon code. Perfect social experiment. Intru introduce 50 Americans to a Canadian Black Friday. Oh, there would be chaos, bro. I love how one peep joins and then hi, how are you, hello, etc. Yeah, because we're pretty nice people, man. Red Bread Redemption 2. <laughs> Daniel says, I'll put a link uh, to a comparison uh, of Black Friday in Canada versus USA. My best buddy, pussy ass bitch, Lucario. <laughs> I guess you are the ultimate detective, huh? After all. But you know, the goal was just 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a few short. Well, that's not fair at all. That sounds like a neat little parody, Isaiah. Unless Kaito and I began our training regimen. I, really, I don't really know why Kaito is so concerned about me. But I suppose I can trust someone again, just this time. I decided to trust Kaito. I decided to trust Kaito and his craziness. Man, I suck at typing. <laughs> ah, I'm so tired. I worked out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted. I ship Kaito and Shuichi. <laughs> Small bean. LOL, no, never. <laughs> But it's a good kind of exhausted. Alright, for now, sleep. Uh, DRL says, I know exactly how you feel, money. We all have those moments. Facts, bro. I didn't have any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I fell into a deep, relaxing sleep. Okay, here's the link. Nice, bro. Nico, Nico, ni. At the time, I didn't yet realize just how horrific it can be to trust someone in this place. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Calm down, cuz. <laughs> Facts, guy. Jesus, what the? What? What are you? What are you looking at? Who are you guys? You're probably thinking, this killing game is taking forever. Someone just died already. <laughs> What's a girl, says Moby? <laughs> Taylor says, ah. Don't say that stiff like that in Georgia stream. What did he say? Oh, okay. Yeah, show what that's kind of stuff a boy without a penis is <laughs> Isaiah <laughs> that is what you're thinking right man you guys are messed up but I feel the same way too jeez why won't someone just die watching people live and die is really the best entertainment some people say what do you think life is 
honestly, life is worthless. Oh yeah, just as a disclaimer again, I didn't do this at the beginning. Uh, this viewer discretion is advised, guys. Like, you know, I know there's some people who are kind of underage. But this is a game. View at your own discretion, you know. So, I'm just putting that out there. You say that again and you're getting banned. Uh, and then uh, Daniel says, I can sense it. That bulging eyeball, ew. <laughs> when you die, you are quickly forgotten because there's tons of replacements out there. Calls Thanos. But if you die in a death game, everyone knows who you are. That itself is a form of happiness. This game is fucking weird, says Zach. <laughs> Underage, I'm 11. This game is great. I just watched the comparison between Canada and the USA. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm saying that. Like, it's a great... It's a great game. Seriously, I am. For what, Daniel? Why are you sorry? I have nothing to be sorry about. I'm a cat, not a bear. The Canadian perspective looked unreal. <laughs> I gotta watch it then. Who will find happiness next? My heart's pounding with excitement. Hehe, <laughs> my battery's at 69. Hey, 69, baby. This is an official... Oh, I thought Prez was saying that to me. No, no, no. He was saying that to... Uh... Lucario. Yeah. I'm a wolf for the kid who likes... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the D-Rails just does this for the 69 comic. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Yum yum. Dumbass. What are you eating? It is okay. Calm down, George. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't directed towards you, Daniel. No. You're good, bro. Uh, Dio says he was talking to Lucario, Daniel. You're you're all good, bruh. Zach says. <laughs> now you're fine Canadian. You're a mod so we can't ban you. Not no not you cuz. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. It is Everybody wake up unless you are dead then disregard. Let us all be positive and excited today. Thank God these are short now. My body hurts. My muscles are still sore from working out, but because of that, mm. I had a good night's sleep for the first time in a while. Perhaps in the first full night's sleep since I got here, so the soreness was nice in a way. All right. Breakfast. Eating a good breakfast became my part of my daily routine. Oh, I can't. Okay. So I just got to leave. Cool morning. Oh, oh, Shuichi. Oh, Ryoma, are you headed to the dining hall? No. Hmm, if I went there the way I am now, I'd just ruin the mood. Uh, Daniel says, let us all be excited and positive today. Sounds like a small part of my brain that's actually positive. Uh, Monica says, I need my cuz to shut up so I can hear you. Uh, Nate says, see you later. I I'm, I'm gonna go get some sleep. Oh, okay. See you later, Nate. Thanks for coming out, bro. Appreciate it. Eats knock knockoff brand fr <laughs> Frosted Flakes. <laughs> hey. Listen, I can't even Im begin to imagine what your life has been like. And I know this is gonna sound cliche, but you shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. Good things, huh? Good things. 
Or when your wishes, hopes, or dreams are fulfilled, right? Uh, William says, I think Ryoma is a cool character. We need more short characters in anime that are not bitches. <laughs> Hey, Dira, breakfast, the most important meal of the day, serving it up, Gary's way, boop, <laughs> hey, Spongebob baby, facts, what does uh, that have to do with someone like me that with no wishes, hopes, or dreams, uh, um, but, more importantly, did something happen to you, huh, huh? Sheesh. you haven't noticed, you look completely different from yesterday. It's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. Hmm. Your face looks more dependable. Ryoma's speech was low and melancholy. He turned and walked away. Okay. Stopped focusing on the past. I'm back. Hey, welcome back, normal person. Oh, good morning, Shuichi. Hey. Good morning, Sumugi. Are you headed to the dining hall? What the hell? My battery is now at 50%. Why is it dropping so fast? I know I'm so pretty. <laughs> Wait, when did Cub become a meme? If I had to describe my childhood in two things, it would be Nintendo and SpongeBob. A uh, press says, welcome back. Ah, uh, well, not because anyone told me to or anything, I just felt like it. That reminds me. Have you gone to the casino, Shuichi? I find myself there sometimes. I've never seen most of the games they have there. Could it be? Sumugi has a large bust. To be honest, yeah. Kuh? Do you think Monokuma made them? If so, I regret getting hooked on one of them. You're hooked on one, huh? It's plain to see. <laughs> Big facts. I'm just playing confident in my gaming skills. Would you like to play together sometime? Uh, um, sure, if we get the chance. Uh, oh, sorry. We should stop talking about stuff like this and go to the dining hall already. <laughs> there are 11 peeps, 6 likes. If I had to say my childhood in one thing, it'd be... Flipbooks, sketches. Okay, now 12. Remember, no spoilers. If anyone posts spoilers, you're getting timed out. <laughs> Daniel says, Yo, Dero, you want Nightbot? <laughs> Play together. I'm gonna go on ahead. You do that. Anyone here miss Rantaro? Just me? Rantaro was cool. I mean, I totally botched it by saying... <laughs> by saying that he was the mastermind when he wasn't. Uh, DRL says, nah, I'm gonna let Nightbot slide tonight. I know, crazy, right? <laughs> Tenko. Insert a large, spilling, greasy, yummy, delicious, grease spoiler of a car. Canadian, I will take Nightbot. <laughs> Fire Blast. <laughs> Good morning, Tank. Good morning, Tanko. Good morning, Shuichi. Kurumi made us breakfast this morning, too. It smells good. I want to say sorry. Oh, uh, Angel Marmil. Oh, that's you, Lucario? Okay. You're right, let Nightbot slide. It hurts more after a break. <laughs> Jesus, Daniel. <laughs> the world needs more Canada, says Itaki. I wonder what hot pot she'll make this morning. Boar hot pot? Maybe pheasant hot pot? Facts. Everything Kurumi taste cooks tastes delicious. I'm so excited. Uh, Zach says, at Nightbot, it was Thanksgiving the other day. You deserve a day of peace. No one person, Nightbot is a fucking bitch to smash that like and murder that dislike. <laughs> so, 
So it's gonna be a hot pot, huh? What is going on with Tenko's diet? Uh, Fire Blast says, JK, Nightbot can slide tonight and fax to Taki. According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered here. I suppose so. You can see that without doing any calculations. Jeez, Jeez what's everyone else doing? It seems Maki has it seems Maki has chosen to spend all her time inside her ultimate research lab. I am not sure what she is doing in there, but she has no intention of leaving. What was that? I'm live playing Fortnite at 3 a.m. But the next stream, Nightbot is catching hands. What is the ultimate child caregiver got to do in her research lab anyway? Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there that she's secretly taking care of. What? She's not some stray dog on the streets raising pups. Um. Where's my love Ganta, sweetie? <laughs> I also saw Kukichi and Ganta sneaking around together. Well, that's where Ganta is. Man, I got a headache. I don't know why, though. Maki stores 34 children in her lab at 3 a.m. Oh, boy, 3 a.m. Hey, what's up, uh, Room Black Cat? He says, yo, George. Hey, what's up, bro? What's up, kitty? How are you, man? She actually is. A couple of virgins sneaking around sounds like bad news to me. Kokichi is bae. Hey. I saw Ryoma on my way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. Hmm. Uh, Daniel says she secretly has children in her basement behind the bookshelf. Hero says, what's up, kitty? Well, we don't need that guy around h here until he's got his head on straight. <laughs> How was your clan meeting? <laughs> <laughs> How did the famous Ryomi, uh, Ryoma Hoshi end up like that? What? The famous Ryoma Hoshi? Moving along. What are, the, what are those two doing? What is that? Uh, Daniel says, sorry to hear that. Go take a Tylenol and come back. Maybe your headache will go away. Nah, I'll power through it. I don't <laughs> I am complaining about first world problems. <laughs> like, wow, I have to sit here and play video games? God, my life sucks. <laughs> Catch hands, bitch butt. <laughs> Taki. A normal person says, Miu's goggles look like it was painted on her hair. Facts, bro. The kitty clan. <laughs> um. Uh, hey. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Time. Praying to a two, of course. Catch bus size bitch by let's gamble after this. LOL. Mm. Praying to a two. Huh? You too, Himiko? Mm. Yeah, as long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. Guys, I swear Gonta's cheating. Nah, I'm angry. Why are you angry at Daniel? I'll commit that to my memory bank. I see. It's escapism. That's not right. No. She merely abandoned reality to speak to Atua. Actually. Taki says, Canada has two Black Fridays. The other is Boxing Day, which is December 26th. Himiko don't pray, says Smolbean. That is escapism. Uh, Daniel says the Montreal Canadiens lost against Boston. God damn it. Oh, that sucks, bro. Sorry to hear that. Really? I didn't know that. Hey, Angie, when did you brainwash Himiko? <laughs> On the contrary, I've undone her brainwashing. Mm. I'm going fucking Super Saiyan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, what did she say? <laughs> uh, hmm. I was brainwashed before, back when I didn't feel the presence of Atua. Kehe. <laughs> Seems it's too late. 
Please get a hold of yourself. You have to face reality. Please. Hey, Himiko. Himiko! Stop it. S stop it. When you interrupt me, it messes up my calm heart. I, I remember this nightmare reality I'm in. Uh, all my insecurities and loneliness. The, pa the pain that, that made me want to die. Sheesh, Tanko. Don't interrupt Himiko while she's praying. Uh, Taki says, Toronto Maple Leafs smoke the Blackhawks. Then, smiling as always, Angie walked up to Himiko and... Whoa. Hmm. Yeah. I understand, Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried. But you have no one to confide in, do you? Normal person says, making a way down... <laughs> Making a way downtown with my bees, Gaunt is gonna kill me. <laughs> it's okay. Ship, ship, no, ship. <laughs> now that's a lot of lesbian. <laughs> now we can seal that relationship together with flex tape. I do not approve of this ship. <laughs> I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. Uh, handsome god. I fucking ship, bring out the flex tape, smacks flex tape like my dad smack, uh, smacks his belt. <laughs> Jesus. Ah. Eh, what a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared anymore. How wonderful. It's all thanks to that handsome god. Hey. Huh? What handsome god? Hey, Himiko, you like handsome men? Why can't it be me? Oh shit, God! <laughs> you. <laughs> Are you playing for the other team? <laughs> Lesbians, baby! Notice how on top it says Beautiful Lie. Yeah, that's the song name. It's hilarious. Uh -huh. huh? Tenko cross Himiko all the way. What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. Tanko is a trap confirmed. <laughs> hey Angie, what did you do to Himiko? Damn, cause lesbians versus straight gangsters. Huh? What did I do? Feminists want a handsome guy confirmed. LOL. Did I do something? Did I? What did I do? Ah, yes, yes. Atua has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Where, where is this conversation going? Anyway, what was it to his message? It concerns me a little. Hey, Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Calm down, cuz don't disrespect Tanko. <laughs> Atua says that this academy suffers from the same sins as the outside world. You're all unhappy because cause your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua has spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed. Uh, uh, greed. Lancer and Susie embrace your weirdness, guys. Uh, norm, uh, normal person says, I'll give the wor fucking worst conversation what the... What the translator gives me when I type, I'm sad. <laughs> hey, what's up, uh, TG, bro? How are you, man? He says, uh, hey, what's up, everyone? Thank you all for coming to the stream. I hope you're all enjoying it. Smash that like button if you have not already. Hey, thanks for saying that, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, Daniel says, guys, there's only one possible explanation. Tanko, ha Tanko has tits and a dick. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Uh, Prez says, you know what's funny? You can fuck any of the girls in here. <laughs> I remember you telling me that earlier, Prez. So we must cast aside our, that sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. You. So what, So you are saying we should live here for the rest of our lives. No, no. That's wrong. How divine. 
It's not si enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. In other words, TG says, who's disrespecting Tanko? Catch hands, ka? <laughs> we must make this academy heaven on earth. What? In doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killings will cease. Prez, can I fuck them all at once? <laughs> Uh, Taki says, is Tenko Scarlet then? <laughs> yo, hey, hey, yo, what's up? It's me, Tenko. What's goody? Yo, Shuichi, uh, let me slide into them DMs, cuz. <laughs> I love Angie's voice, but I hate her. Uh, Titty Reveal. Facts, TG. Yo, what's up? Are you being serious right now? Yo, what's up? My name is Tanko. My dick is popping out my skirt, cut. <laughs> Nothing much, fam. Hope you're having a great day slash evening, bros. Says Derail to TG. This place provides us all with the sh with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. Punished. What more could you possibly desire? Do not give in to your greed. What? Hey, cuz, calm down. <laughs> What? <laughs> Press. Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Buff Suki? Attila's divine messages. Messages are never wrong. Huh? Hey, what's goody, Chris? AKA Chris Lewis, AKA Fam. What's up, bro? Thanks for coming out, bro. Appreciate it. What? This place provides food, clothes, shelter, and friends, and don't forget death. Bro, don't disrespect Natsuki either. Hey, Chris. Says Monica. Close says best girl. Himiko is go a good girl and a fast learner. Together, we devise a truly divine plan. <laughs> The best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment here. Tenko's belly button is a coin slot. The best plan. Tell them, Himiko. Everyone. Make them burst with happiness. Yeah, explode with excitement. It's finally happening. The amazing Himiko's magic show is finally opening. A magic show. Don't worry, admission is free. Or actually, I guess admission is will be will just be your smiles. Over the years, my show has been has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my powers. My magic. My magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Nah, don't disrupt my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. Normal person says best girl is probably a trap girl. And it's called a magic show because I do magic. Because I do magic, not tricks. Uh, normal person says no. Angie is 70% naked and Tenko is 25% naked. Uh, Daniel says, so a magic show. I'd rather watch Harry Potter. Thank you. <laughs> Screw your magic show. I don't get excited about that crap. You're way too excited. Yeah, the show opens tomorrow morning. Come to the gym after the morning announcement. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with that antister... Antisturbation? What? <laughs> Surely you mean anticipation. <laughs> I like Obuki from 2. Oh, from Dog and Robo 2? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel says, uh, damn, normal person out, out here with the statistics. <laughs> or have I misunderstood the nature of this show? Yeah, then. Himiko will, will, and I will begin the, the prep work, and I'm supposed to ask others to help too. Bye, <laughs> 
<laughs> no person you are weird as fuck I'm counting on you guys to help <laughs> bye Onara yeah farewell No one person says I am fifty point nine percent fucking the boys and fifty point one fucking the girls. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Angie, uh, Himiko, and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? What well, what happened to her? Faith as intense as this can be quite terrifying. But there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our motive videos. I'm hungry, what should I eat? Uh something something light, bro. It's ten o'clock where you are, so. Come on, man. <laughs> You're only worried about that? Of course, we cannot, we cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But Everyone who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you just say? <laughs> the fuck you just say? You mean Kokichi, Gonta, and Ryoma? No. Taco Bell, a Taco Bell baby. Um, I mean, I guess something basic like cereal or something, bro. Insert Spider-Man posting at himself. <laughs> no, I think that's it. No, I don't think that's it. Even with three people, that's a low probability of them having each other's motive videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange is small group like that is likely. Who here can eat two chalupas? I can. True. I see. That is true. Well done. Heh. <laughs> Not bad. That's the ultimate detective for you. Uh, okay. Uh, Taco Bell for some reason makes me vomit and diarrhea. Me too, but it's a delayed reaction, so I put up with it. <laughs> yeah, don't get Taco Bell right now. George is a sleepy boy. Sorry, bro. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himiko. Uh, I don't like Taco Bell? That's fine, bro. A lot of people don't. I guess we'll just have to wait and see the blah. G give Himiko back. What do you think? Damn, Tenko really wants Himiko, bro. She wants those cheeks. Y'all eating Taco Bell, Jeff Hershey squirts, <laughs> as, Miss <laughs> as, Miss <laughs> as Mississippi <laughs> fucking close. Hey, bro, that's only once in a while, cuz. Do you <laughs> delayed reaction, Alameo? Oh, oh, getting her uh, Hershey squirts. <laughs> For now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I have prepared meals for everyone. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently pre uh, present. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. <laughs> BRB, I need more food. <laughs> Alright, bro. Kaito, don't push yourself too hard. Should I have an orange? Yeah, no. Fruit, yeah, eat some fruit, bro. That's good, bro. After I helped the stuffed, <laughs> after I helped the stuffed Kaito to his room, I returned to my own. Kokichi and Ganta, Angie and Himiko, and Ryoma and Maki too. Everyone's all over the place, but I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes, I'm going to do something about this. Free time.
Uh, Daniel says, I fucking love fruit. Much better than vegetables, but I like cauliflower, broccoli, tomato, and some others. Nice, bro. That's a good attitude to have, honestly. Hey, level 26, Ka. Oh, she's still there. Whoops. There you are. Let's try this again. A magic show. It seems unconnected to the killing game, so I do not foresee any issues with it. Sure. Oh my god. What? <sighs> so stupid. I'm dumb. Perhaps I am over overthinking. But we cannot let our guard down. Not after what Monokuma has already put us through. Spend some time with Kibo. Grew a little closer today, sure. Donde esta Morenas y Boric? <laughs> That's a word I don't know, bro. I think Clueless just invented a new Latin, Latin word, cuz. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no wonder. I'm like, donde esta morenas I got, but then translate to the rescue, yeah, I'm like, the fuck is the other word? <laughs> Fruit and veggies are good, cuz, facts, bro. Guys, I won't be here from a, from a while, cuz me and my cousin are doing something. Alright, it's all good. That is... Okay, bye Monica, have fun. Yeah, see you later, Monica. Listen closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. Under different circumstances, this gift could be considered an act of robophobia. Uh, actually, fruit salad, yummy yummy. <laughs> Since you have come to speak to me, I can only assume they've taken some sort of interest in me. Well. Well, well, you are a robot after all. Indeed, curiosity is a very useful human quality. Very well, I shall humor you. Hmm, I feel as though he's talking down to me a little. Small bean, oh if I can god. There is someone sitting next to me that looks like George Salazar from BMC. If you know who that is, you're cool. I <laughs> I don't know I don't know who that is. I'm not cool. <laughs> well then. So at first I will explain my functions. 
As a robot, I'm somewhat extraordinary compared to you. But... I remember you saying something about having the same strength of as, as an old person. It's true, but... Considering the tragedy that occurred during the trial production, it was a logical design choice. Well then. Now first, my visual acuity. I have 2013 vision. Impressive, no? You think so? That's I believe that's pretty normal. Hi. Where is Brunette's? <laughs> and Boricua George's the translation. I guess I'm not cool. <laughs> Me either, TG. Yeah, well, yeah, I know Morena's as brunettes. I knew that. I didn't know the. Uh, how do you say that? Let me look at Google Translate, bro. Clueless is. Clueless, you know what? That's how good Clueless is, bro. He's teaching me new words on stream, bro. Like. And no one is cool. We're all losers. Boricua. Hmm. Interesting. Man, that's how smart Clueless is, bro. Teaching me lang uh, teaching me languages, cuz. Small Bean says, uh, no one is cool, we're all losers. <laughs> uh, over 50% of high school students have less than 2020 vision. But no matter what, my visual acuity will always be 2013. If it got any worse, I suppose it would count as a malfunction. Humble bragging bitch ass. <laughs> Clueless! <laughs> Facts, bro! Clueless, I saw you playing Rocket League earlier, bro. How many Platinums did you get, cuz? And don't say zero, bro. Humble bragging. <laughs> if you got any worse, I suppose. <laughs> My next fu function will definitely surprise you, Shuichi. Please raise your hand. Huh? My what? Please. I wanted you to put your hand in front of my mouth. Uh, uh, I wish I had 20/20 vision. Yeah, so do I. so do I. Like this? Uh, the fuck? 0.5 cool kids. <laughs> this is zero. Zero point five. Lies. What the hell is this? Uh, is he powering up? Like, what the fuck is this? Holy shit, he's going Super Saiyan? <laughs> Look, one breath grazed across my hand. Well, Kibo is a robot, so maybe not breath. How about this? In addition, my warm breath also functions as a dryer. Put your hand in front of my mouth. Pause, Kibo. <laughs> hmm. I see. Please wait. Now, now, you can't be surprised just yet, okay? Case in point, my hand can turn into a multi-tool. With both hands, I have 20 tools at my disposal. My finger can detect the wafting aromas and even distinguish it between different scents. I also have a music player for when I'm bored. I can even play tapes and records. Neat, huh? I'm still thinking about your, how you weird your breath felt. I don't know about your other functions. Don't be too surprised. After all, I am the ultimate robot. What if there are many Kibo androids? Maybe. Yeah, amazing. Uh, okay. Well, of course. Right? I am Professor Itabashi's masterpiece, after all. The professor's technology has given me the function to, functions to support a life of comfort. Hmm. A life of comfort. I see. That makes sense. But However... I... My greatest attribute is actually not a function at all. Huh? It isn't? That's... Can't tell what it is? How about this? It's my compact, lightweight design that makes my various functions possible. This is what truly drives Professor Idabashi's technological revolution. Well, now do you understand just how amazing I am? Uh, I'm back. YouTube was buffering like hell. Oh, really? YouTube's fucking up? Ah, uh, puss. Pussy ass YouTube, cuz. <laughs> but welcome back, Zach. I 
I don't know how to respond to his boasting. Uh, Small Bean says, imagine living with your favorite Danganronpa character. That would be either amazing or a disaster. <laughs> Depends who it is. Hey, what's up, Taco Meat? How are you, bro? Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for coming back, bro. Appreciate it. At least for me. Oh, okay. Maybe someone like Miyu would really appreciate his mechanics. Hey, friendship fragment. YouTube is just something else. YouTube's been being <laughs> have been being a dick to me recently. Kibo and I parted ways. I returned to my room. TG says, hey, Taco Meat, thanks for coming to the stream. Facts, bro. There's still some time left. What? All right, Kaito. Jesus, bro. <laughs> I guess that's Kaito. But is he here to train already? Weren't we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. Then, the moment I opened the door... Chuichi, run! Huh? What happened? Don't just stand there, run! Hurry, he's coming! What happened? Who's coming? What? Kaijo risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffened up in fear. <laughs> Damn it! He's already here! Hurry, Shuichi, run! Shuichi. If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. Uh, Daniel says, Ganta would always want to go to the Botanical Gardens with me to see all the bugs. Oh shit, cuz! <laughs> Says D-Rail. Uh. Kaito! Kaito gave his ominous warning, then ran away at lightning speed. YouTube has just been dumb for the past two years or so. It's Sans? Oh shit, cuz! Huh? What? Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover what Kaito was so terrified by. Huh? Oh shit! The fuck? Bro, he legit turned Super Saiyan. That's a golden aura around him. What? It's Gante, isn't it? He looks different. It'd be great to live with that bitchy blonde in pink with the big tits. <laughs> oh, Mew? <laughs> Monica says, Monica says, what's goody cut? Insert Megalovania. What the fuck says TG? <laughs> it's Gonta. I told you guys. <laughs> What's going on? It looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door soon. I don't know what he's up to, but it's probably better not to be here. Careful to alert to avoid the alerting Ganta, I quickly, quickly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. What was that all about? What was Ganta up to? Yeah. From the looks of it, you ran away from Ganta too. Uh. Ryoma. What now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. He's going Super Saiyan? Hmm. He was charging right at me at top speed. Gonta probably saw an ant die. Maybe. Huh? He threw himself right at you, but you managed to get away? That's amazing. Get ready, Gonto, ready for Smash Ultimate? <laughs> Relax, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I use the Shukuchi method. Shukuchi, uh, Shukuchi, Kuchi, uh, method. A technique from my tennis days, like a flash step, you know. Of course, I've gotten rusty uh, back then in the day. Back in the day, Gonta still got ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Shukuchi, we almost must have been an incredible player back in the day. Gonta's final smash leaked. Someone called Goku? By the way, I'm sorry. What? Oh, whoops. For saying something so uncool, like I've got no reason to live. Gonna, Goku won't be in Smash, neither will Waluigi. And neither will Gino, okay? No, I'm <laughs> I don't know. No, no, you don't have to apologize. 
I'm gonna say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I'd waste my life. I only said something like that because I was jealous of you. Why? Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try to I could try my best along alongside you all. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly Ryoma ducked down taking cover. When I looked to find what scared Ryoma I saw. Oh there you are. Hey, where are you going? Jesus. Huh? Gonta? Sorry, Shuichi, but I'm gonna run. I've still got things I need to do. No! Gonta no can let you leave. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Orgino, Isaac, Banjo, Nak, etc. <laughs> if Goku fought Gante, it would be the best Kamehameha ever. Facts, Daniel. Gonta charged us like a runaway train and then... I lost consciousness. I didn't even feel the impact. Didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. Gonta love? And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. <laughs> Alexa, play Ultimate Battle from Dragon Ball. I can't die yet. Huh? He just he got oofed. Morning, sleepyhead. You're finally up, Shuichi. That's creepy. Huh? What? Game's done. Kokichi, damn! Well, you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. And this place is. Hmm, I guess hell. Hell? I shook my head, confused. I looked around. It was all a fucking dream? Hmm. Is this. <gasps> oh, you're awake? This is the ultimate entomologist research lab. That's me when someone says Gonta is mine. Imagine getting sleep paralysis and waking up to that guy. Exactly. Fucking coquinut. <laughs> it was all a fucking huh? dream. The ultimate entomologist lab. Why? Oh. I remember. I was attacked by Gonta and then... That's correct. The same is true of the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonta and brought here. Gonta's sex dungeon? <laughs> But Shuichi's the only one who got knocked out. By the way, come to apologize for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to grab you. Why? What is this anyway? Why did Gonta do this? Oh my. So they all got mega oofed. Exactly, bro. It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that guy. My eyes followed where Sumugi was pointing. There's no use trying to escape. Gonta will just try will just catch you again. Why did it have to be this room? It gives me the creeps. No. Is this your doing, Kukichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Uh, Isaiah P says, "Why? Do wait, doesn't Gonta catch bugs? Yeah, that's why it's so weird about this. He he's usually a gentle guy. <laughs> he's so simple-minded. Um... As soon as I told him that everyone who ha uh, that everyone who uh, who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. So that means, and that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. God." Damn it, Kokichi. Gonta catching hands with someone? I'm a bug, so Gonta will catch me. That's terrible. Wait, wait. Oh, Gonta thought up the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. You're terrible. You tricked Gonta. Right? Isn't it great? 
Only an evil supreme leader like me could do something so evil. Kikuchi. He just wants friends. Why are you doing this? Ah. Oh, I thought we could throw ourselves a little screening party with all our videos. See? With all, with all you here exchanging our Muro videos, it wouldn't be that difficult at all. <laughs> and I want to see your videos too, so I figured we could all binge watch them together. Please, wait! Do you know what will happen if you do that? Um, Everyone will know their motive and a killing will be more likely to happen. But... I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. <laughs> Fucking Kokichi. I want to win this killing game. So I'm not going to run, run from it. I'm going to crush it. How exciting. That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that even mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm going to do this, then I got to enjoy myself and just go all the way. Uh, Isaiah P says, throw a coconut at Kokichode. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, this is this is like when you see your parents see a cringe video from elementary school. <laughs> Kokichi is, ain't a pussy ass bitch like G5. <laughs> Facts, bro. If the thought of a of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frolicking child. Smallbean says, I just realized how pale Kokichi looks. Yeah, he's pretty pale. d -Rail says, fuck you, Kokichi. You're almost at the second murder. Okay. Although perhaps it's just another lie. Backs, bro, says TG. Thank you for waiting. Going to bring Himiko and Angie. What? Huh? Himiko and Angie too? Aww. Oh man. And I was about to take a break too. I just finished all the paper, all the prep work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? Himiko. Uh, Daniel says Kukichi is whiter than the snow in Canada. <laughs> Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face and make it feel better? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> D-Rail says, Knuckles, the echidna hair looking ass ninja. Pale like Dracula looking ass. <laughs> Max D-Rail. Isaiah P uh, says, Steven Universe reference. Oh, really? Oh, I, I don't watch Steven Universe, so I didn't get that one. The hell? Stop it. No. <laughs> hey. Can you look me instead? Hey, Ganta, are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kurumi at gym, but she tell Ganta she too busy. Mm -hmm. And you just let her go? Atua has spoken. Atua says Kurumi fulfills any request someone makes of her. Like a mommy. Hey. Uh, she's not a mom, though. Wait, what request? Uh... I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. Not even Gonta enough strong. Not even Gonta strong enough to overcome Kurumi. Licky lick, bitch. <laughs> hmm. Mm, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding somewhere? Um. Going to see Miu. But Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. Mm -hmm. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? Yeah. No, she used her, uh, what she call it? Secret woman weapon. And then... What? Anyway, this enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to a smashing start. Maybe. Oh, yeah, sure. This is good enough. We should move on to the main event anyway. Gonta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us all. Huh? huh really? Nuh -uh. No, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, Gonta. Huh? huh? More than Gonta? Amazing. You like bl bugs that much? Oh dear. It would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. Hey, hey. 
Uh, Daniel says, oh, Ganta got flashed by some girl's titties. Uh, d -Rail says, poor Ganta. Yeah, he just gets, he's really naive. Monica says, hey, back. Hey, what's up, bro? Now, Ganta, go ahead and teach them just how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let them leave, okay? Right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so great. Hmm, hmm got it. Could it be Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course, someone's gotta break into your rooms and get the goods. <laughs> Lockpicking is a sense for an evil supreme leader like me. Uh, TG says, fucking lying sack of shit, Kokichi. Pussy, pussy ass bitch, bro. What? What? You're going to enter a girl's room without permission? If I must. It seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent, Kukichi, I will stop. You're so dumb. Yeah, yeah, I don't have time to listen to some robot. Uh, Daniel says, Gonta just make wants friends, but always gets tricked to liking the wrong people. Bugs Life starts playing. Um, Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. Uh, d -Rail says, just fucking punch him already, Shuichi, fuck. Kukichi then left the classroom. Bug's life was trash. Hey, calm down, Zach. <laughs> I'm, get I'm getting too heated, I need to chill. I mean, I, I feel the same way, d -Rail. I mean, like TG said, bro, he's a pussy-ass bitch. Just beat the shit out of Kukichi, <laughs> Is that an option, bro? It appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a mode of video screening party. Uh -huh. My Neo Akido is no match for Gonta's superhuman strength either. Hey everyone! Bax, don't hurt my Kokichi. d -Rail want a sprite? <laughs> we still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until then. Huh? Endure it. Everyone, play nice! Okay, now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Well. <sighs> I got a Pepsi. I got Pepsi, Daniel. Well, it is. <laughs> Daniel's like, oh, okay. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that wasn't a lie. The incredible specimens each uh, each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality, and they looked they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. Sleepy boy. <laughs> With our escape route blocked, all we could do was run around the room in a panic. Bing bong. <laughs> yes, I love bugs. Bugs are my life. You stay inside playing Fortnite. d -Rail says, Jesus, titty fucking Christ, Gonta. <laughs> Remember Pepsi, man. <laughs> oh, wow. The insect meet and greet continued without mercy. What happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. No. Nah. Himiko is being buried alive by insects! Himiko, hold on! Yeah, <laughs> yep, I remember Pepsi Man, Daniel. Remember Pepsi Man. Oh, shake, huh? The more you yell, the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> ah, God, ah, God! Finally, when our bodies were completely exhausted and sleep was nearly upon us, At least we skipped the whole stupid bear segment. He finally came back. Whoa! Ugh, there are bugs everywhere. How nest? I mean, how nice! Oh! Oh, you come back, Kokichi. Come, we have fun. Everyone, play nice. We're gonna have so much fun. No, not Himiko, cause fucking hell. <laughs> hmm. hmm. You know, as much as I'd love to do that, maybe we should call it a day. Hmm. See? The bugs look really tired, and a gentleman knows to do things in moderation, you know? You're right. 
Oh, going to understand. So you clean up while I'll take care of business with the others. Kukichi's hands were full of several cubs pads. Can I beat his ass right now, bro? One of my biggest fears is being buried alive by bugs. I once got a nightmare out of it. Oh, really? Jesus. That must have been terrifying. You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. What? How do you know what that looks like? Send Kukichi to the Shadow Realm? <laughs> Pussy ass, Gonta, bro. Because you're late. Wait. You said you'd be back by nighttime, but it's already 11 p.m. now. My bad. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. I like the Sprite commercials with LeBron James. They're dumb as hell, but I like them, says Zach. Okay, that's cool, Zach. But... But look! <laughs> Cubs pads! Got a cat. Oh my god, a Pokemon reference! <laughs> now is as good a time as any to remind people that I am doing a giveaway of Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu, or EV US Digital Code if I reach uh, 300 subscribers. <laughs> Shameless plug, I know, but... Good time to point that out. I got so scared I legit fell out of my bed and hit my head. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, TG says, "LOL, Zach, I like those as well." Oh, want a Sprite cranberry? I like Sprite actually. Cubs pads, gotta catch them all. I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive video. Uh, d -Rail says, Fact, Zach. He's like, I'm not gonna tell you to drink Sprite. Instead, I'm gonna ask you. Want a Sprite? Got a reference in all? <laughs> Itaki. Oh, my. We said we didn't want to. How exciting! Well, it's late. I'm getting sleepy, so let's start already. Danganronpa. Hey! Start what? Oh, don't worry about it, Ganta. Just keep watch so these guys don't... That's enough. That's enough. I won't let you do as you please. Mm -hmm. LMAO facts, bro. We are at, like at 282 subs, guys. Yeah, oh yeah, we are at 282. Yep. Hmm? I, also... I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. It, it, it eats up a lot of my electricity. Must do it. That's neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, right now. Huh? If you were dying of thirst, I wouldn't tell you to drink Sprite. I would ask you, want a Sprite? <laughs> Kibo, what are you gonna do? Oh shit, he's going Super Saiyan, bro. Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a, ha a hand behind his ear. And spun the mechanical parts there. One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. The tape? Right there. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's when... Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Uh, can you, uh, Daniel says, most soda commercials are like, drink it or die. <laughs> Was that my voice? <laughs> Minded. Oh, he recorded him. Oh, that's smart, bro. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something like that. Could this be? That's pretty smart. How about this? So what do you think? You just saw my audio recording functioning function for the first time. <laughs> Evidence biatch! <laughs> says DRL. TG says, oh shit! <laughs> Kokichi, why? Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret weapon? Really? It's a cassette tape in this day and age? But it's metal tape, you know? The sound quality isn't the issue. Well, let's just put that aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. You just got punked, bitch. Ha, suck my dick, Kokichi. <laughs> A bunch of middle fingers to Kokichi from D-Rail. 
top 10 anime plot twists. <laughs> Kyokichi, what you what you mean? You not like bugs? You a pussy ass bitch? <laughs> Man, now it's boring. You say when we get them to understand how amazing bugs are. Was that lie? <laughs> Fuck you, Kukichi. Get fucked, you bastard. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs from the bottom of my heart. All right. Oh, so it's not a lie. Then go to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Hey, bugs! Who want to pet more bugs? Huh? huh? Everyone. We must run while we can. Gonta is gonna go Super Saiyan. I just ran out of stomach sour gummy worms. Wait, we need to take back our Cubs pads first. Tenko snatched the Cubs pads from Kokichi. Aww. Then we all ran out of the lab. Kokichi is greatness? <laughs> Gonta, oh, so you a pussy ass bitch now? Gonta can fuck you up now? <laughs> Facts, d -Row. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kokichi screaming. We might be corpses by tomorrow morning. It's plain to see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain possible. Um. Okay, I guess Kokichi deserved that. <laughs> he kind of did. Even if you like Kokichi, he was kind of being a dick there, bro. So how do we return these Cubs pads back to their rightful owners? Hmm, if only the Mana Cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Oh no. Alright, at least it's one. Oh, it's just you? The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help you. This kid, I will kill him for lying. Stop him being... Kim, stop being so overprotective. Me, fine. Um, it's about the Cubs pads. Kokichi brought them to us, and I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. <laughs> you bastards. It's Mana Dam, yee. Yeah, he left. That was abrupt. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past midnight time. Gonta like, so you know like bugs? You lied to Gonta. Gone to send you to Shadow Realm. Uh, d -Rail says, you okay, Mani? Ah, that's true. We have the magic show tomorrow. You're right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal. But I'm sure it'll be a divine show. I fucking hate them bears, but Monodam I can tolerate. <laughs> we'll be waiting for you to come watch. <laughs> we'll be waiting, she said. Uh, uh, she said. It's Himiko's show, not yours. I think I'm fine in the background. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, facts. I suppose it's alright. I just remembered I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. Monodam is my fave. Yeah, he seems to be the, le the least annoying out of all of them. So I like him. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. It's a weird thing to say. Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our dorms. And there's my jam again. Yeah, beautiful lie, bro. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow is a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. Monokuma Theater, bro? I need a miracle. You pray, right? While you're working, living, and gambling. But miracles happen every day. For example, do you know what the odds of the Earth existing are? The same as a tornado blowing through a junkyard and assembling a working car. That's a miracle. That's why us being alive on Earth is a miracle. All kinds of miracles happen every day. Life is made up of little miracles. But whenever a miracle does happen, it just gets chalked up as fate or destiny or whatever. 
<laughs> this reference is what? I have no idea. <laughs> Be grateful for the miracles that have already happened instead of hoping for new ones. If you do that, you should be able to enjoy miracles, right? Bing bong. Fact of, fact of the day. You get a hug. <laughs> Rise and shine or sign. It is now 8 a.m. <sighs> This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's 8 a.m., so wake up. Ah. Press says, almost there, bro. Can't wait to see everyone's reaction tonight, lol. Oh, he left. Monosuke is so important. He's been cranky lately, so it's making, so, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. It's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime announcement too. And that's that. It'll be 10 p.m. later. It's too early. Your impatience is trying to warp time and space. Earth sign more like bitches. Rise and shine, bitches. And we just lost brain cells thanks to those bears. <laughs> so long. At least they're getting shorter and shorter. Today is the day of Himiko's magic show. But the insect fiasco yesterday, now this, do we really have the time to be doing this stuff? Well, well I suppose, uh, well, I, sh I suppose I shouldn't be thinking about it. I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Pretty much, bro. <laughs> Says TG. <laughs> We're losing all sorts of brain cells. Oh, uh, I can't warp, so I'm guessing something happens on my way to the gym. Alright, let me turn around. Oh, wait, wait, it's right here. Whoops. Magic. Magic. Ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. School building. Great track. With my magic. It's the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Every time that bell rings, we must all be prepared to question our intelligence. <laughs> Facts, d -Rail. What's up, Kurumi? Ah, Kurumi, good morning. Good morning. Everyone has already gathered for the show. Magic. Is, uh, is that right? I suppose everyone's looking forward to it. Miu seems particularly excited. Her eyes were lit up like a child's. She's that excited, huh? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited, too. By the way, it would seem that some outrageous events have transpired last night. Hey. Yeah, Kokichi tricked Gonta into going along with his Moto video screening plan. But thanks to Kibo, we put a stop to it. It's okay. I see. I see. So Kokichi truly does intend to oppose us. No matter. Let's go inside. Everyone is waiting. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it would be. Welcome to our map. GT, GT, uh, gotta go, guys. And tell Gacha. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. LOL, okay. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. This would have been impossible with just two old people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Ki Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. Uh, d says, take care of Mani, we'll tell him for ya. I designed the stage, but Kurumi so sewed the curtains. Thanks, be to Atua. Everyone is so nice, Atua deserves all the credit. No. Uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. Oh, well I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... 
you really have to say <laughs> Damn, bro, that's blunt as fuck. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to center her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> She's scared, bro. She's shaking like a leaf. <laughs> t Rose says, damn, girl. Uh. Why'd you, why do you fall for that, Gonta? Come on, bro. Gonta is so sorry about yesterday. Gonta not know why he act that way. Gonta too forceful. Still have a long way before Gonta call himself true gentleman. Poor Himiko. It's not your fault. It's Kokichi's fault for tricking you. Me when I realized I got school? Even so, I think you need to seriously reflect on what you did. Your gullible mind will eventually lead you down the wrong path in life. That's true. Facts. Ah, uh, she's got stage fright. Gonta always falls into traps. Going to be more careful next time. Um. So, what happened to Kikichi? Um. Gonta, you are forgiven. After insect meeting, greet, Kon Kokichi's mouth start to bubble, then he pass out. <laughs> I see. He might not make it to the show then. <laughs> Gonta's like, oh yeah, K Kokichi is dead as fuck. <laughs> What's up, Kurumi? We managed to complete the preparations in time. I hope everyone enjoys the show. Okay. You helped out too, Kurumi? Did you do the sewing? You complete every task you're given, don't you? No wonder you're, old, you're the ultimate maid. But right now, you're just an audience member like everyone else. So let's just enjoy the so let's enjoy the show. Yes. Yes. Uh, I shall do just that. Drell says, "Fuck yes, that dick deserved it." <laughs> Alright, let's go to Himiko. Could it be Himiko? Are you a bit nervous? Just a little bit. Certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Every task given, huh? <laughs> Small bean. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the extreme water magic. Underwater escape act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Very <laughs> Hold up, Gonta. Goku Hara, is he Goku in disguise? Is that why he went Super Saiyan? <laughs> Facts, bro. <laughs> You've never cast it before? Mm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. What? I will be pureed. Pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. God damn. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly. But I do see fish swimming around. Isaiah P says, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I'm here. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Thanks for coming back, bro. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the stream. They don't look like normal piranhas. <laughs> Zach says, seems safe. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Uh, no. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Uh, D-Rail says, this is some Harry Houdini shit. Small Bean says, Himiko better not die. Bax, bro. Oh. Tenko. Please reconsider! The piranhas! They're nothing like lasagna! What? With my magic. N no need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas. With my magic! <laughs> You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Himiko, are you serious? Uh, TG says, good to see you, Matthew. Thanks for coming to the stream. Backs, bro. There's... No way I can stop now. Since Atula is watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atula. Angie just brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Uh, calm down, cuz. Don't disrespect Himiko. <laughs> what? 
Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, cause I'm a mage. Bitch lasagna? <laughs> she psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> of course, I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend, Tanko. Oh boy. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Nah, I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> Jesus. Off Himiko's head, says Ataki. Off, oh. Off with Himiko's head? Nah, then let's get the show started. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Oh boy, this is... Thank you, Atua, for being oh Jesus, this is Matthew. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! Damn! Present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko. Calm down, cuz. <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, underwater escape act. Canadian and Senator uh, Daniel I keep <laughs> Daniel says that reminds me to check the sub count of PewDiePie. Uh, series just to for curiosity. Okay. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. When the timer above the stage starts, Kimiko will enter the water tank. Daniel says I'm getting Sayori vibes. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. Uh, Zach Brown says PewDiePie is just under a hundred thousand ahead of T series. Dero says, I'm, I am so fucking scared, dude. It, you know what it is? It's because it's a dangerous trick, and the music, bro, is what's really making me nervous right now. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, TG says, this is crazy. A separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh, my goodness. Be safe, Himiko, says Small Bean. After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened... If by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause! Just kidding! It's a joke! <laughs> right, good joke. Are you feeling alright? I'm concerned about Himiko. She is not responding properly to Angie's jokes. No, because she's scared as fuck. For good reason. This is a this is a very dangerous trick <laughs> a sick joke yeah I mean gone to worry gone to have bad feeling Atua please protect Himi no! wait what am, what am I doing but praying to Atua that's Angie shtick I really don't want Himiko to die facts bro well I guess you could pray to some other god Magic show! <laughs> Small Bean says, wait, if Himiko dies, does it count as suicide? I guess. d -Rail says, low blow, Angie. TG says, I feel something is going to happen behind the scenes. Maybe. I can see that, TG. Facts, Ganta. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started a timer. Then she took a deep breath and dove into the water tank. Go Himiko, you can do it, says Prez. And you close the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my, fits, my fists nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. Oh boy. Hold up, what if this is all one big distraction? Maybe. Well, well do you think she's alright? Uh, 
Gonta is starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out. Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore. Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, and. Wait, Gonta. Well, uh, Isaiah P says, uh, "Welcome to Jackass. I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Extreme Houdini." <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> This is like a jackass bit, bro. Hey! Thank you, TG, for liking and retweeting the stream. Julio! For liking and retweeting the stream, bro. Thank you so much, fam. Shinobu for uh, liking and retweeting the stream. I appreciate it, bro. Thanks, guys. Why am I nervous? Ran up to the stage. Onto the stage. does nothing piranhas will eat Kimiko huh? um less than 10 seconds remain I don't care if it ruins the trick just come out this stress is bad for my heart Himiko! come on Himiko right when the timer hit zero the buzzer went off and then The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the watery water tank Himiko was swimming in. TG says, oh no. Small Bean says, no. Huh? Huh? Look, the piranhas. H hurry, the curtains. Open the curtains already. Got it. I'm opening it now. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. What? <gasps> what? Ryoma died? Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Here's why I'm so surprised. Let me tell you, right? I didn't say this earlier, but in my head, I thought the next person to die would have been uh, Kaito. And here's why, because uh, something that Shuichi said. Shuichi said, oh man, I'm gl uh, when he didn't uh, work out with him at night, he said, it's not like I'm never going to see him again, right? And I'm like, that's such a, that's such a like, definitive statement that it has to be proven wrong. Like, that's what I thought. But they threw another curveball and Ryoma died? It took a few moments for all of us to even process it. It's fucking sans. Deerhouse says, uh, Fire Blast says, my phone died. What happened? Fire Blast, you missed it, bro. <laughs> you missed, you missed Rioma dying, bro. But then, it, yeah, Rioma just died. He got eaten by the piranha plants. <laughs> what a bad time for your phone to die, bro. God. But then again, perhaps we weren't trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Oh no. Pay, press F to pay respects, bro. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. Yeah. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, a body in the gym came at the best time. Hey, what's up, um, Melon uh, Colin? 
Thank you. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Uh, thank you for checking out the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you. To be honest, I didn't think he was going to die. Me either, bro. Him? How did he get in there? Exactly. Himiko. Then when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. Wait. So pe are people going to die? Just going to die one by one? Yeah, th each case has like has a death and you know we try to solve it so this is the case of Ryoma's death maybe Zach <laughs> yeah I, honestly I don't know but that's so far that's how it's been maybe that changes in the in uh, other cases remember guys no spoilers facts prez uh, TG says welcome uh, Melon Colin uh, thanks for coming out uh, to the stream this is a blind playthrough so please no spoilers facts TG yeah, he had handcuffs on. Do you notice that? He has handcuffs right there, too. Oh, by the way, uh, the like and subscribe button are down below. I'm not saying you have to hit the, those buttons. I'm just saying that they're there. So it's kind of like the book, uh, and then there were none. <laughs> Kinda. This doesn't make a logic. Nah. Yeah. Thanks, TG. But for weebs? Who did it? I don't <laughs> Prez, I don't know yet. I, there's really no... S I really need more evidence for that. Okay, so we know it wasn't suicide. No, it wasn't. Because it looked like when he fell into the water, it looked like he was already either dead or passed out and then the piranhas just ate him so it wasn't suicide you know how we do bro uh some old bean says some kinky shit going on with those handcuffs <laughs> for the second time at the ultimate academy a body discovery announcement sounded out those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running What's going on? I I don't know. I don't know what happened. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? Break it. Yeah. And it was forced. The way his body was shown proves that. Yeah, because of the handcuffs. It was a struggle. I think so. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. But what would we even use to break? Hey! Ganta, Keyboy, you're up. Huh? What do you mean we're up? You're so dumb. Ganta, throw Keyboy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. <laughs> do not mock me. Who are you calling a battering ram? Ganta, throw Kibo. Got it. Who had a motive against them? Honestly, the only person that I saw that we saw have kind of an kind of an issue with Ryoma was Kaito. But I don't think Kaito doesn't seem like somebody who would kill who would kill. Especially with handcuffs. He seems too proud for that. He would if he was going to kill somebody, it would be like one-on-one -on -one combat. But other than uh, Kaito, don't really know. Gone to throw Kibo, got it. Why Kaito? Well, just because they had a, like a little bit of an argument in the gi in the dining room um, after Kaito's death, I believe. After she got killed, she was executed. Like he said, like he had uh, Ryoma said he had nothing left to live for, or whatever. And Kaito kind of got mad about that. Um, that's the only like interaction that I saw between Ryoma and the other characters, in in like a antagonistic sort of way. 
But that's the thing though, it doesn't really have to be like how one, how a person feels about the other to kill them. It's really another motive that drives them. Kiro, uh, is more like stabbing a suffocating than that. There would be marks on his body. Hmm. Then I'll help too. Wait. No, wait just a second. You don't need to team up now. Oh shit! They actually threw him? <laughs> they actually threw Kibo! What the? Damn, bro. That's cold as fuck. <laughs> no respect for Kibo, bro. Rip Keyboy. Keyboy. <laughs> the sound was intense. A wall of piranhas and water dyed red with blood rushed out. <laughs> Rip Keyboy. <laughs> we watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. <laughs> TG says, damn, bro. <laughs> uh, hold up. The skeleton shows that his skull was broken. He was murdered before he was thrown in. Yeah, that could be it. That could be a, a twist where, you know, in court where we, tr like in the class trial, that would probably be a point of contention. Like, he was killed in the piranha tank, but no, in reality, he was killed, then thrown in the piranha tank, you know. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um. I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Kiba looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. <laughs> the water was used to hide the body. What if it was for comedic effect? Uh, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to do more investigating to find out. He's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and, f How fleeting and fragile life is. Gone to put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Gone to think they full. Ah, oh, God, they're full of Ryoma. God damn, bro. Ew. Today, Ryoma. Oh my Jesus Christ! <laughs> Today, Ryoma is fish food, and tomorrow he'll be fish shit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Oh. Um, uh, Prez says, why would he be hiding in the piranha tank? If he was in the tank, wouldn't he have been eaten already? True, because he was in that little thing with the piranhas already. He would have been eaten already. Unless he wasn't in, uh, inside that the entire time. Damn you. Hold up, which one got his dick? <laughs> God damn. Oh my. Don't say such things. Himiko? Are you okay? Is this... this wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? How? How could this happen? We swore to each other, we didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are all liars. You guys are liars. All you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Your disingenuous tears mark you as a, the liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out? You've got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Then where was the body hiding? Hmm. It could have been in the decorations above the. Hmm. 
Yo, shit, Nickel's here. Nickel. Oh, is Nickel really here? What's up, Nickel? If you are here. What's up, bro? Hey, guys. How's this feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Time for another three episodes of the class trial? Huh? We're almost transparent. Has my x-ray vision superpower finally awakened? Damn, disrespectful. Oh, not these guys. God damn it. Pussy ass nickel. Father, you don't have superpowers. He's just been reduced to a skeleton. Alright! Finally, I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. This means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. You're raring to go, Mono. Who are you again? Well, Suke, you should at least remember your own kid's name. Mono Fenny, are you okay? And there goes a few brain cells. Five. Four. Why are you counting, Mono Fenny? Why are you counting? I really don't like the Mono Cubs. Me either. Uh, Melon. Uh. I'm just gonna call you Lin. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, I don't really like them either. Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> uh, rise and shine, or sign. Oof. I wish there was an option to skip this. Oh my gosh, she puked. Ah, she puked again. Why are the Mono Cubs wearing pacifiers? Stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up, we're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, capiche? Yes. Also, to keep me company, and new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Oh, yes. Shut up, you failure. Yes. What? Me too? Hey, hey, this conversation's fun and all, but we should really get this over with. So. Don't we need to start investigating or something? The only cool mana cub is a uh, mana dam. Facts, bro. Facts, small bean. All right, I'll get the culprit this time. Hurry up and give us the thingy. Okay. Oh, you mean the Monica monokuma file, right? Yeah, Isaiah it doesn't even shut them. It doesn't even shut them up. I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business deal. Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Let's use this Monokuma file to start a funeral services business. You know how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death? And that's that. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well, Monodam baby! Well, Pops, what do you think? Gonna go. Good night, everybody. Uh, good night, Zach. Have a good night, bro. Appreciate you coming out, man. If I was in Danganronpa, I would be the ultimate nobody. <laughs> Small bean. Huh? Cute. TG says, Mono Dem is the only uh, MVP. The rest of the Monos are trash. <laughs> Facts, TG. The way you pass out the files is cute. It's just so cute. Why don't you come, over, come with me over here? Pops is gonna lick me all over. Ugh. Huh? Father is showering Monosuke with all his love. Hmm. You think Mon maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough? <laughs> Still throwing up? I think I'll maybe follow Monosuke. Finally. Monokuma ready for that hentai? In any event, let us begin the investigation. But investigation? So it's really going to start again. Actually, Can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. No more. Gone to no one to investigate, friends. No one to suspect, friends. Then, then don't do it. I'm not going I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? huh? Because You'll be fine if you're short a person. And I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. I've said this before, but I still don't think Maki is a child caregiver. I don't know. She does. 
Her personality does not... It, I don't really see her taking care, care of children like that. Finally, the brain cell massacre stopped. Pops is gonna lick me all over. Cue the fan fiction, <laughs> says Lynn. Maki. Wait, Maki. I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around. And kept walking. Maki that? is very sus. Jesus, I say it. God damn, bro. She is, bro. Calm down. The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not gonna investigate? Hell nah fam, she's bullshitting cuz Maki is ultimate mom alongside Kurumi. Stay on here my boy. Don't disrespect Maki cuz. Blowjob handles is backing out of the conversation. <laughs> Blowjob handles bro. <laughs> Maki looks like she's in her emo phase. Damn, it's like. That seems rather responsible. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in, in Rantaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all day in her lab. What is she doing in there? Jeez. I meant to say, stay on her, my boy. Fuck on, fuck auto correct. Chill, bro. Calm down, cuz. <laughs> Daniel says, okay. <laughs> Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. <laughs> TG's like, hello. I'm seriously pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yup, I'll do my very best, too. Because... Ganta and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. Right. Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> but we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? What? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. Mm -hmm. Hey, calm down, Kokichi. Hands on sight, bro. But... but she's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But then again, she's made herself look suspicious. Now, so now she's super suspicious. Gee, shut up already. How dare you toy with Himi Himiko's pure heart. You got me. You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. <laughs> TG says, oh no, fuck you, Kukichi. Calm down, Kukichi. <laughs> calm, bros, calm down. Uh, Lin says, rules of Danganronpa. The one who has, was first accused is as the culprit is not the culprit. Yeah, I noticed that with the first uh, case. And the previous games as well. <laughs> Calm yourself, okay? Shut the fuck up, Kukichi, cocksucker! <laughs> no spoilers, cuz. I... I know her best. Right, Himiko? No. Magical girl. No. This is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? No spoilers, because. Kat. If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out how the culprit killed. It's impossible. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible, why not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape. Cause it was my magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey lived midget? Oh <laughs> Jesus! Midget gonna keep saying that. Um. Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. Cause I'm a mate. Cause there's no, tr cause there's no, uh, there's no trick to my magic. Cause it's magic. Uh, TG says a true magician never reveals their tricks. Facts. Seriously? Come on. How long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're. What's up, Fireblast? Welcome back, bro. 
Th that's enough. If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. <sighs> I'll use my Neo Akido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Mm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out for myself. Right? I was behind the curtains. Actually, that sounds pretty fun. To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. Fucking facts, Tenko. <laughs> TG. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all of our lives, because we're risking our lives in the class trial. Investigations start. Shuichi. Hey Shuichi, you got a sec? Huh? What's wrong? I mean, before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Right. You're my sidekick from now on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm your sidekick? Nah. You're my sidekick. That's how this works, bro. Small Bean says there's no trick. It's magic. <laughs> huh? Your sidekick. You know, I'm more of a scientist kind of guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. <laughs> Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momoda, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. Despair Searching? Yeah, it's a pretty good song, bro. <laughs> George Placing Dominance? <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. What? I gotta do the work for you, bro? Uh, but I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He. Yeah, this is a great song, man. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean. So. Leave it to me. I'll take full responsibility. Since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Huh? Got it. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Okay. Yes, that's right. Kaito making me his sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be scared, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the, the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Okay. Alright. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryomi Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. Uh, <laughs> d -Roll says, that trumpet makes my ovaries explode. Guys! <laughs> Facts, bro. Kaito Momoda, the ultimate bro. Says <laughs> The cause of death was drowning. Okay, so, okay, so that's the cause of death, right? Okay, so he drowned. Oh my god, that's a terrible way to go out. God damn, bro, he drowned? His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Okay, so... Come on. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Hmm? Remember. The previous Monokuma file indicated Rantaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rantaro Amami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. He drowned. So that... So my theory that he got killed beforehand went out the fucking window. <laughs> so he drowned. But it doesn't say... But that doesn't mean he drowned there. He died by drowning, but that doesn't mean uh, he died actually at this time. That's probably why they don't list the time of death. Uh, in the Monokuma file because that would be a twist actually 
Uh, your theory could still be correct, so uh, so your theory can still be valid. Mm -hmm. Did it? Why do you think that? Um. Well, because of the uh, the time, the weird, the fact that there's no time of death. Me kind of says to me that because we saw him die quote unquote in front of us but did he really die right in front of us or did he die beforehand and he just and his body just got eaten in front of us to make us think that he just died right then and there when in reality he could have died hours ago you know okay so it wasn't killed before he was in the water with one minute she has to get out of the water someone pushed him in the water for him to die Hmm. Maybe. The victim's body was discovered in the library. Interesting theory, bro. Uh, the estimated time of death is 9:10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Hmm. But, but the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. No, this was intentional. Monokuma told us he wouldn't give us any information that would have revealed the culprit. Okay, so the time of death is connected. So the time of death is connected to the culprit. The problem is we don't know how long he's been dead though. So we can't really pin... So not we have we, uh, right now we can't pinpoint it to any uh, group of people because I would say like anybody who wasn't around they could be the culprit but even people that were with us could be the culprit if Ryoma did indeed drown uh, a while before the magic show. But Thinking about it that way, it implies that the that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. Uh, what if he drowned before? Who was missing before the show? Uh, that's the thing, uh, Daniel. Like, even if people who were at, uh, even people who were at the show, they could still do it too because uh, Ryoma could have died a hours ago. You know, before they even got to the gym. How, so how long do you think he's been dead for? I think a few hours, most likely. Or maybe since, maybe even the previous night, even? Wait, 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 if he was in the tank, how did he not get eaten by the pros? Yeah, that's what Prez brought up. Like... <sighs> we need more evidence. Well done! Ha, <laughs> there you go! I knew I picked a good sidekick! There's one thing, more thing that in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. They drowned him, hit him, then when she got out of the water, put him back in the water. So where was his body hiding? It couldn't have been in the piranha tank because the piranhas would have eaten him in there. <sighs> Maybe there was like a secret compartment in that piranha tank or something and who doesn't have an alibi but like i said prez like i don't think alibis matter because since we don't know what the time of death is anybody even people who weren't there could uh, even people who were there at the gym could have murdered ryoma before it you know but his score was cracked i think that was just like <laughs> I, I forgot who said it but somebody said like it just Make it look weird. Yeah, for looks, yeah. What if something was blocking him from the piranhas? Maybe, yeah. So he could still be in there. This is so confusing, says so Small Bean. Has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Alright! Alright, now we were done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit He's pretty commanding as I, as I expected 
uh, Derail says, We the mystery gang out this bitch, Scooby Doo, baby! <laughs> Okay. Maybe it was the night when you guys were with Ganta? Possibly. Because after Ganta knocked uh, Shuichi out, we didn't see Ryoma after that. So, that's also a possibility. But anyways, guys, <laughs> I think I'll leave you guys with this cliffhanger. Tomorrow, we will be streaming Danganronpa again. So if you want to see what happens next, if you want to see, you know, what evidence we collect and we kind of piece it together, tune in. Be sure to tune in tomorrow at 6 p.m. Uh, PT, 9 p.m. ET. It's going to be a lot of fun. Bang, bang, armadillo detective gang. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. But yeah. This is very, very interesting. I did not think Ryoma was going to die next, bro. If it was when they were with Ganta, then they would have have all they would all have alibis. Possibly. What if Kokichi killed him because he took long long to gather the mana pads? Possibly, yeah. Kokichi is a suspect. Good stream. Thanks, Prez. Appreciate it. Good straight, great stream, bro. Thank you, you all for tuning in. DRL says, great stream, George. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. I had a great time. Thank you, everybody. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye.